idea of sitting and listening to a lecture is right. really boring, right. especially if it's not, it, especially if it's boring. It, it's a dark room and right. you're there for 45 minutes and you, know, you haven't slept. So it's changing. That part is really changing a lot. I think the whole, the, the autodidactic possibilities are really interesting. One more question. Uh, there was somebody waiting very patiently in the back. A gentleman, no? Uh, up there, up there. Let's take that lady there with the pink shirt. Thank you. Hi. Along the same lines, I, I keep thinking and hearing of all these things about the, the relationship of intimacy that does this increased data, you know, um, work against intimacy and that relationship with creativity. And so I'm also curious about whether you're conscious of are any of these tools sort of trying to enhance exactly what we're talking about, that processing or that time that you could be intimate with yourself or yeah, just where in intimacy plays into this idea of creativity. Dennis, why don't you start? Well, intimacy with, um, like, what do you mean, with, like... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the very everything, Dennis, is just in your life, darling. Uh-huh. <laughs> like, like, your own self, it's like, It's a very notional I want to see that badge. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, just in terms of, you know, I, it's, it's not just what your experience is when you're creating art, but how I experience art. So I can have an experience looking at shows building where I might not want to, you know, where I, I have that intimacy of that experience. And it, yeah. it just seems like a lot of the tools that you're talking about are acquiring more and more um, experiences. But I'm, I'm questioning if there's ever intimacy or the, the same thing that... Yeah, I don't want to take over, you know, the space at which someone is actually experiencing something. You know, that's, that's the point where you want the phones to go away and you just want to enjoy it, whether, like, you know, you're in a museum or you're looking at a piece of architecture or you're just enjoying time with someone. But, you know, I feel like our role is to help people point towards, point them towards experiences and, and better experiences and different experiences. And, you know, it could be just trying foods you haven't had or, you know, paying attention to a building that you walk by all the time or, you know, calling attention to a gallery that, you, that you, you may enjoy that you've never seen before. You know, just pushing people to have these five or ten minute experiences that they normally, that they normally wouldn't have. And I feel like that, that's our job. And then if we can do that for people, then our job is done. Okay, I think uh, on that intimate note, <laughs> having shared an intimate hour I hope that with was you, your... your uh, <laughs> I didn't um, skirt around the PG-13 We, we have to leave it there because yeah. of the, the invite plus 80, <laughs> that intimate invite plus 80 that we were uh, included in. Uh, Darius Crowley, Shohei Shigematsu, Ragava KK. Do I actually say the KK? You do realize yes, you've yes. stolen my initials, but anyway, Ragava <laughs> KK. Sonny Bates and Gavin Starks, thank you so much. Thank for you so much. Thank you. And thank you.